Hi, my name is Tony Dominguez, and today my informative, my informative speech is going to be talking about space. Space has been discussed for years and has been around longer than our planet has been. One of my early astronomers, Galileo Galilei, he was among the first people to use a telescope to observe the sky and construct a 20 times zoom refractory scope. He discovered that four largest, the four largest moons of Jupiter in 1610, which are now collectively known as Galileo moons in his honor. I'm informing you about space because there's so much we don't know and it's essential that we learn, such as the essential that we learn and know, such as things as the stars, the planets, and the, other, and the other universes and solar systems around us. As far as famous astronomers go, they play an essential role in space. Because without them, we wouldn't know what we know today. Such as Galileo on discovering Jupiter's moons or Eggenauer Herzberg, a Danish astronomer who classified types of stars by reaching their color by by re, by re, re showing their colors to their absolute brightness. Sorry about that. But besides that, what do we really know about space? This speech will cover what we know about space and what and what's around us and why we must learn. The facts that we know about space for sure is that space is 250 times longer than the observable observable universe. Or, in other words, at least 7 trillion light years across, said a team of scientists led by Miriam Verdanian at the University of Oxford. Also, another thing we learned and we know about space is that, I'm sure we all learned in school, is that the stars we see now are dead stars that died out millions of years ago. But our seeing now is because they're so far away, it takes light years to reach us. This leads me to our next topic. What do we know that is around us? While our central astronomers were discovering about planets, stars, and space itself, we came to notice to what's around us, such as moons, the eight planets in our solar system, and how every one of them has a moon of their own. One thing that we know that's around us are, is other galaxies discovered by Edwin Hubble proving that there are other galaxies beyond our Milky Way. Another thing we learned is that around us, it's another life form near us and closer than you think, which is on the planet Mars. In 1986, NASA found what they thought uh, might, may be a fossil of a microscopic living thing in a, in a rock recovered from Mars. This brings me to my last topic and why it is important to know about space. I think it is important because I believe people and the public should be aware of what's around us and going on, but not just in our planet, but outside our world as well. This is because I feel like people aren't aware of what's going on out of our world. And I think it, sh and I think it should be the opposite. So we can discover more, learn more about what's around us. But this is the reason why I chose this as my informative as my informative topic. So I can inform my audience and give them more of a clue and knowledge about space. Overall, talking and informing about space is something that I hope I gave knowledge to someone that didn't know or inspired someone that did and made them want to learn more. Thank you for your time. I hope you like my my written informative speech and the picture I'm about to show you, and I think is from a gas, like a dead star from outer space. <laughs> and it is right here. It's actually a gas and dust created by an exploding star, which forms new stars and, and which shows new stars and planets forming. And here you go.
Expo, a closer look. And thank you. And thank you. And that's my informative speech about space. Hope you liked it.